One of the striking things about orangutans is how similar they are to, to people. But over the centuries, what people have seen in orangutans has, has often changed. So these days, when we look at orangutans, we're particularly interested in their, their sociality, the, how, how friendly they are. I was in a, a zoo a little while ago. I was looking at the orangutans, and one of them walked over and sat there and looked at me. And we looked into each other's eyes and there was a real feeling, not that, that we were friends, but that there was some kind of a, a direct interaction between us, even though we were different species. Uh, orangutans are unlike a lot of animals in that they don't just have mates, they don't just look after their children, but they also have friends and enemies. So in any group of orangutans, there will be orangutans who like each other and orangutans who can't stand each other. And a little bit like human society, it tends to be the female orangutans who decide what level the, the friendship is going to be, going to be on. Uh, if we go back a little bit earlier, people were much more interested in orangutan intelligence. They thought that the definition of being human was being super intelligent, and so they were interested in asking just how intelligent uh, might orangutans be? How close are they to us in, uh, in terms of intelligence? And the very first people who did that kind of experiment concluded that orangutans weren't, weren't very clever. They, they failed some of the easier tests. But then later on they discovered that the orangutans failed because they were bored. And it was only later with much more, in t much more complicated tests, for instance, tests that involved planning, that orangutans really began to, uh, to show how clever they were. And some of these things happened almost by accident, especially in zoos. We have a, a famous case of an orangutan that exchanged a piece of fruit with a chimpanzee for a length of wire. Then it concealed the piece of wire in its mouth for several days and eventually took it out and used the wire to pick a lock and to escape. Now, that's all pretty clever. That's exchange, that's planning, that's real, real deviousness, it's concealment. So, on almost all the tests of humankind, orangutans are there. Now, they're not as clever as humans, but they do a lot of things that, uh, that humans can do.